We back again on KRSM 98.9 every Monday morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. We got a very special guest in the house. We're going to we, we're we're let, as a matter of <laughs> fact, we're going to let, let you take it away. So, yes, yeah, so, I know it's... <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 I know it's difficult to pronounce. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you saw, you saw what I, I did. My name makes you got to work for it. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> for sure, man. Yeah, um, yeah. But well, well, one thing we always do with all of our guests, we always have them explain who they are uh, okay. in their own words to our audience. So just tell our audience who you are. Man, so uh, starting off with my name, my name is Tasalta Baptiste. My mom always tell people it's salt with tuh on the front and tuh on the back. That's one way to remember it. <laughs> right. Uh, an- another way is at last spelled backwards. Mm, um, you saw so that. That's just yep. a fun fact. Yeah. Uh, man, I'm a, I'm a visionary. I'm a, a creative. And uh, I'm one of y'all, man. I'm one of y'all. I appreciate that, brother. Okay, so h- how do you get involved with the uh, the film The Gentle Giant? Like, How did that come about? Man, you know, just just the regular uh, thing that happens with a lot of us in in Hollywood pursuing the filmmaker, you know, actor career. You know, we we audition and uh, we do a hundred of them. So get told no a hundred and one times, <laughs> right? And then uh, you know, <laughs> magically or, or just by the grace of God, you know, we get that one that that um you know is is career defining or you know uh, just helps helps move the needle forward a little bit. So that's pretty much what happened with me. Wow. And, and, and a lot of people don't a lot of people want to become actors but they they don't know that side of the struggle because i i, I used to act a little bit like, like a little bit like i don't know okay. like like and, and i don't oh, remember oh, 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 i gotta i gotta say something okay do you do you remember the 700 club do you i do man that's what those commercials used to come on late at night Hey, he played in one of those, man. He played in one. Oh, of those. is that right? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I played, I played, I played in two of them. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, so one, one time I was, I was, uh, I was in jail, and the next time, like I got <laughs> shot, like in a gang shootout. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, thank, thank you for paving the way, brother. You know, we just have to do those roles. You know, so acting like myself to get to where we are, man. So, right. I appreciate it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Yo, but the, th- yeah, the thing, man. the thing is, is like, is like, I remember one time, um, uh, uh, like the uh, the agent that's out there in Virginia, because it, it was when I was in Virginia at the time, and she was like, "Yo, they got they got some auditions for this uh, big commercial in Richmond, Virginia, which is like an hour and a half away." She was like, "Yo, uh-huh. y- uh, uh, do y'all want to drive up to uh, uh, Richmond and audition for this commercial?" And I'm like, "Yeah." So I took a Come day on. off of work, right, and we drove up to Richmond, hour and a half away. Man, when I got in that room. I said three words. The lady was like, okay, thank you. I'm like, yo, what? <laughs> they were like, him, him. He's got the look. He's what we're looking for. Thug. Gang member. Him. Thug, gang. No, that was for, no, no, the Richmond one was for something else that I, that I, that I didn't do. But I was just mad that they wouldn't even let me finish the script. You know what I'm saying? They didn't let me finish the script. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, let me get three words out. They was like, okay, you can go. And I'm like, I'm taking off of work man. and everything. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But the, the, yeah. the Gentle Giant, man, uh, uh, mm. it's only seven minutes. Um, yeah, that's all we needed. Yeah. Exactly. Everybody wants more. Is, is, is this going to yeah. be something more or, or, or is this just a uh, standalone short film? Yeah, I'm, I'm not really the one to say that or not, you know, but I will say that, you know, if, if you're keeping your fingers crossed, uh, I don't think you'll be wrong for doing so. Um, you know, these are these are things that when they get them in, you know, the Can Festival and then on Hulu from the right. Can Festival, um, these are things that are definitely going to be noticed, you know. Wow. And, um, yeah, yeah. So so I, I can say that, that um, the fact that it is where it's at and that there is a narrative that's being made Telling his story, and my my. By the way, mind you, uh, this is his sister Bridget Floyd that is putting right. this all together. You know, right. so um, she's the <clears> one <throat> that handpicked me. Actually, she seen me and said, "Him, I want him." And so, wow. um, yeah, it's 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 in good hands, and there's a lot going on right now uh, that y'all be hearing about real soon. Man, that that that's amazing because it, it, it's so crazy because like before, <clears throat> like I, I I was I remember I was on Hulu and I was like, I said, "Oh, the General Giant." I'm like. George Floyd, I'm like, okay. Oh, you know what I mean? So I saw so I I watched it and I'm like, okay. I'm like, oh, this, yeah. this, this dope. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. Then it went, uh-huh. did it, did it, did it went off. I'm like, 
I thought something happened. I'm like, okay. I'm like, I'm like, okay, it's seven minutes for a reason. You know what I mean? So I'm thinking to myself already, I'm like, okay, this has to be like a teaser. You know what I mean? That's what I'm thinking. You know, I, I, yeah, I know man. I I I I I see I don't want to put you in a position that you gotta talk about certain things, you know what I mean? Oh you, no, I'm here, man. Uh, I'm oh, show, okay, man. yeah, 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 man. Yeah. So cause th- that was that was amazing. And I'm sitting here like, yo, I like I have to have more of this. You know what I mean? I know a lot of other people feel the exact same way, especially in Minneapolis too. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, so 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 with this particular project, um, this is this is a, a campaign, right? So this is something that's that's done with the George Floyd Foundation, which is something that uh, Minneapolis should be very proud of and happy about, um, that the campaign is actually doing something. They're not just, you know, out here, um, you know, buying yachts or something like that. You know, this is something that's, that's real, that they're making actual uh, authentic change uh, and creation out of, you know, something that has devastatingly happened. Um, yep. So this, this was a project that is in partnership with Ad Council. Um, it's in partnership with the production company Smuggler. Uh, Andre Muir is the director on that one. Um, this production company is the one that ho- houses Barry Jenkins, who made Moonlight, um, mm. Jonah Hill, um, if you're into comedies. Yeah. And um, so, so there's some heavy hitting names that's involved with this one. And of course, RGA, the, the agency, who won um, Best Agency in 2015 at Cannes Festival. Wow. So, um, yeah, yeah. So th- this, <clears throat> these are some really big wigs behind making this project happen. Um, and it's going to run as, as, like I said, like it's, it's a short film um, that ha- had the intention of being ran as a, a ad. And yeah. said, we're going to we're going to stretch this out and make this a full project now. And, uh, wow. you know, my my assumption is that they're testing the waters with it. And so how, wow. how everybody responds to it uh, will determine, I think, a lot of how the, the future goes with with the, with this. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so I, I, how how important is it for, um, I guess, uh, Bridget Floyd to be telling that story? Because a lot of times, and, and what I think is going to happen, what's going to start happening is, is right about now, and you know, for years to come, there's going to be a bunch of different documentaries, a bunch of different narratives uh, coming out about George Floyd and about uh, you know, you know, the riots and everything. So, how important is it that? Not only Bridget Floyd, but just that a, a black voice is the one that's telling this uh, story. Man, it's very important. That's a, that's an excellent question because uh, that's something that people need to know the uh, the uniqueness and the the, the added value uh, of having a, an actual family member be the ones that's in charge of production and the and the direction of a, of a project in a film like this. Because if you look at Aretha, right? So her her life right. story was told. And put out by two different production companies. You know, right. and, and the family, <laughs> yep. the family was was very unapproving about one of them, mm-hmm. and, um, and but they still made it anyway. You know, right. so um, these are issues that you know absolutely happens in Hollywood when it's a, a story that uh, is is definitely something that's going to get viewership and eyeballs on it. Um, you know, and we could talk more about that with production and, and projects like that. Uh, but but yeah, man, this is this is one that with the family mm-hmm. behind the wheel telling the story, um, you can absolutely celebrate it because you know it's going to be authentic, and you got to worry about any any producer that's not one of us, you know, pulling right. the strings, t- mm-hmm. saying this is what's going to be told, this is what's not going to be told. Yep. Um, she told this straight from her heart, and as as you've seen in it, um, she kept it real. Right. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yep. <laughs> yep. She, okay. So, yeah. uh, uh, how did you? How did you? Prepare to play Dorian, uh, 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 Bridget's <laughs> husband. <laughs> like, so what, what, what steps did you take to make an uh, accurate, you know, depiction? Like, 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 what, like, how did you prepare for this? Man, listen, I, I asked Bridget when I got on set, I said, do I at least look like him? She was like, mm, no. <laughs> 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 so, uh, you know, uh, it wasn't that I looked like him. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, I, I like to just think that, you know, I got selected because, you know, I'm, I'm just that talented of a thespian. You know, right, uh, right, but, right. Uh, uh, you know, just preparing for the role, though, man, it, I, I really had, hadn't had um, researched the man. You know, I really didn't even know right. it was about George Floyd until they sent me the script after I booked it. So mm. as I'm reading it, you know, the, the way the film is designed, <clears throat> Is the per the viewer is not supposed to know it's about George Floyd until the very end. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's so crazy. We talked about that. That is crazy. Uh-huh. 
Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so usually how it goes is they'll send me the material um, like a day or two before we actually film. So I'm reading it and I'm like, oh, okay, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, and I got goosebumps. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm like, absolutely. Oh, this is, whoa. <laughs> right. Oh, that's powerful. And, uh, and now it's all about me just saying, okay, let me, let me take all this in right now. So, uh, like we say all, all of this uh, hits home, you know what I'm saying? Because mm. we're based in Minneapolis. Uh, so where were you when the uh, George Floyd incident took place? And uh, uh, how did you feel when you uh, saw the video? Or if you ever looked at the video, uh, you know, the pandemic was going on. Just uh, let us know how, how, what type of mindset state you were in at that time. Man, who didn't see that video? The world saw that video. You know? Absolutely. Um, for me, man, you know, it's an interesting thing because... Uh, Ahmad Arbery was was the, the first one that started in 2020, right? Right. Really, it started with Kobe Bryant, right? Mm, that was yeah. the first like death that just shook the world, right? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, right. And and then right after that, lockdown was announced. Like yep. this virus is killing everybody all over the world. And yep. then while we're supposed to be on lockdown, Ahmad Arbery, we see that video come out, and, yep. we, and we're, we're we're upset because you know we see this man get get gunned down you know, like he was being hunted, you know, and, yeah. um, and, and up until then that happened in February, I believe till May, uh, I believe when, with, with George Floyd, man, we were waiting for a verdict for Ahmaud Arbery. So the whole time, yeah. something that should be self, you know, just, just, just cut, cut close case, you know, this, yeah. this, this, this man should be adjusted to mine. Uh, we get another one and it's another video that's even, if we didn't even think it'd be more, if we didn't think it'd be possible. Exactly. It, it was it was just as if not more devastating than a mod Arbery, man. And so um with, with with me, man, I was at home, you know, like a lot of us, man, might have my been staying 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 COVID free, you know. <laughs> right. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know, I, I ain't catch it anyway, but you know, I don't know how that's, I don't know that's too much yeah. information. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But uh that's what I was doing. And um right. and I think that it was just a powder keg because there was so much that we were dealing with in, 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 in those days, right. That, in that year, that just yep. one thing after the other people were being locked down. People were worried about their job. People being forced to live with, 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 with a, a person that they, they ain't really like, like that, you know, but damn, I met this person on, you know, <laughs> plenty of fish or, or, <laughs> right, or, or right. bumble or something. Yeah, now yeah. I'm stuck being locked down with it. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, it it yeah. was all kind of issues, you know what I'm saying? That was just driving people mad. And then that came out. And I think that, because with the mod Arbor, we got to at least see that brother run. We got to at least see him fight a little bit, you know. Right. Yeah. Uh, with, with 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 George Floyd, man, we just saw him, um, you know, handcuffed, and he, you know, he had he had people standing around with phones, but not doing anything while he was begging for help. You know what I'm saying? Man, and man, I think man. that that if if there was anything that was going to awaken something in humanity, yep. that was the perfect storm that did it, man. You yep. know, so um, <clears throat> yep. rest, you know, rest in peace to that brother, man. God bless his soul. You know, yep. what I'm saying I wore this shirt, man. Super spirit for him, you know, wow. because um, he definitely is a super spirit, man. And we're 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 blessed to be here to talk about him today and remember him. You know, and just everything he did for this for this world. <clears throat> Absolutely. Oh, okay. <clears throat> now let's, let's switch gears. I uh, is let's switch gears a little bit. Switch gears a little talk bit. Talk to me. All right. So you play my favorite rapper. Oh, yeah. Tupac yeah. Shakur. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 okay. Until the end of time, can you tell us yeah. how did that come about? And you, we heard you gave, we, you gained a major fan base in China. What? Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. <laughs> I got a, I got a major fan base in China, man. Wow. I even speak Mandarin. Well, hui shua pu tong hua. Ni men ye hui shua pu tong hua. Ni hao pun yom men. Wow. I just asked the Mandarin if you speak it. What's, what's up? What's up, players? <laughs> um, <Wow>. <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> um I uh I, I live there, you know what I'm saying? I, I played Pac. It was a, a interesting uh story and how it happened, man. Um won't get too long-winded, but uh we got tired of waiting for the movie to get made and we just made it ourselves. And um mm -hmm. when that happened, you know, that was right before until the end of time, well, excuse me, until uh, All Eyes on Me was yep. announced. <laughs> and yep. um 
And uh, yeah, man, pr- pretty much I was uh, I was auditioning for the role to play Pop, man. You know, I even right. I even put on his his, his voice in the audition type. Yeah. You know, so I make sure that I sound like Pop. You know, right. everybody else up there be trying to talk like they don't you know, yeah. they feel, but they don't, they don't feel Pop like that. I had to be real Pop for him. You know what I'm saying? So I, you know that was a little rusty, but um, I had to put I had to put a little sub more on the tape, and I was like, man, I think I can make my own shit. So yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Um, so yeah, man, we uh, I hooked up with some with some filmmakers out there. We made the project. We we put together a, a script. The script is basically this young Chinese kid. He's really into to Tupac's music. He's into hip hop. Um, he ends up uh, getting inspired by him. He does a, a classroom report. Uh, hooks up with somebody that knew Tupac who lived in China as well. I want to make sure that that was known that, you know, there's a lot of us out in Asia and out abroad. Um, right. So it is possible to run to somebody who who would have known Pac in China. It's not far-fetched right. um, in reality. Um, and uh, and basically he, he, he becomes an outspoken leader himself, um, embodying the spirit of Pac, man. So uh, I played Pac right. in that film. And uh, actually, it was the first one that was made, man, before All Eyes on Me, man. So right. uh, I'm not trying to, you know, discredit them brothers, but, you know, we we, right. we did it. And it's done. Right. Absolutely. Did you, <clears throat> so w- w- was you was you a fan of Tupac? And how, and how did you, I, I, I got to ask that. You, you know, hey, look, because you know what's crazy? I, I'm, I'm going to tell you what's crazy. So we we from Virginia. We, we originally from Virginia Beach. And we was, you know what I mean? We were strictly... Biggie, we were strictly Biggie for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We, 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 it's so crazy. We was Biggie for a long time. Then our cousin came from uh California, San Diego, and then he mm. let me hear Machiavelli. And you mm. know, it, you know, if you like Biggie back in that back back then, you couldn't say yeah. you like Tupac. You couldn't say it. You couldn't tell oh, okay. nobody you like Tupac. You know what I mean? So I so so we used to like Biggie. And then when he brought Machiavelli to me, I remember mm. telling my older cousin, I said. And I, I mean, look, I told my older, older cousin, I said, you know what? I like, uh, I, I like, I, I, I like, I like Tupac. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man. Yo, it's so crazy. And, and, and he's like, when you go through that Tupac stage, when you first start going through and you start listening to Machiavelli's and you start going through everything else, you lose your mind. You go crazy. <laughs> I'm talking hey. about. So, so I just want to know. Uh, I okay, I, I see you. You were a Tupac fan. So, what did you do to yeah. prepare? You know, what I mean, to play Pac because his personality is 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 he got a huge personality, but it's like you kind of gotta tread lightly with it because you because if you go too much, it'll look like something else, and if you go too low, right, it right, might right. not be Pac. You know what I mean? <laughs> and Pac is sensitive as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you know, that's something that I, I definitely got criticism over. Um, you know, one of the things I like to do when I, because I do impersonations, and one of the things that I did when I was playing Pac was I was just looking at how other people impersonated him. And um, right. in the process of it, you know, I picked up on various things, then I kind of looked at him, and I like to talk, you know, touch on the 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 soul of that person, you know what I'm saying? So, right. yeah, Pac was, Pac was definitely an artsy person, but Pac definitely has many different layers, you know what I'm saying? He's Absolutely. Not, he's not just all thugged out like people know. Pac has, yep. you know, very many, many different phases, you know, even, even up to his, his, his his final days, man. Pac was dressed in all white. He was wearing glasses. You know, yo, what I'm saying? yo Pac, absolutely. Yeah, hit us with some professor stuff. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> yo, exactly. Um, <laughs> but but we just didn't get a chance to really experiment experience that, and for him to experiment with that, man. But we watched that yep. man grow, man. You know, um, he, he grew before our eyes. For me, man, it was just really trying to encapsulate all of that, but also to make somebody that's um that's safe. Excuse me for the Chinese market, man, because. Right, uh, they wouldn't have they wouldn't have rocked with it if I was if I was super thugged out Pac on camera. Oh, man. So, right, you know, right. So, yeah, so yep. I had to I had to give give them um, something that they can they can stomach. Uh, Absolutely. My bad, man. My audio just kind of went went somewhere to my laptop. Um, yeah, it, 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 it's yeah, kind of good. good. It sounds good. Yeah, it sounds good. good. Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah. It yep. good, if you like it, I love it. Yeah, yeah. man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so so. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What are some um, dreams and goals you got uh, as far as like your acting career, um, and, and also even outside of your acting career? What do you? What, what's some dreams and goals you have? Man, dreams and goals, man. You know, for the most part, bro, I, I like to just make sure that I continue to do what I'm being blessed to do right now, man, which is be able to to push forward a lot of these these iconic people in our community. You know, um, right. I, I really enjoy being someone who's 
uh, in biopics or and or period pieces, you know, right. something that's like I'm not no, you know, vampire slayer from space. <laughs> you know, <something> <laughs> have any relevance as a black man today, being you right. know, what I'm saying, and, right. and, and and putting that that image and those stories out there, you know, I'm, I'm really right. really uh, happy on the path that I am on with being, um, you know, some like I can play Pac, you know, in China, you know, I can I can do I can do something that's that's unexpected, but at the same time, like man, this is this is impactful. This is this is a part of the history. You know what I'm saying? So I like to Absolutely. continue to do that, you know, and, and continue to get more of these roles, you know, where I can I can be in that position to to help do that, man. Tell tell these untold stories. Absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> we uh, so it, it, tell us the story uh about one of my favorite actors of all time, Denzel Washington, helping you out fund your debate team. Oh man, yeah. So. So this it's a uh, it's an interesting story, bro. So, yeah. <laughs> so, with, um, so I went to Texas Southern University, man. Um, TSU, right. yep. and um, and the debate team at TSU, uh, they they're the ones that actually train the actors for the great debaters. Mm. And um, okay. Denzel was one of the actors, of course. Uh, shout mm. out to Dr. Thomas F. Freeman. That man lived to be a hundred years old, man. He was right. the coach of the debate team there for over sixty years. Right. They're going to make a movie about, about that man's life. And if I got to be the one to do it, I'll do it for sure. Because absolutely, um, I was in Alabama and um, we were in a Waffle House, man. And, and you know, it was nothing but, but rednecks around us. You know, so mm. keep it real. There were yeah. a lot of rednecks out there around us in that Waffle House, man. And one of them walked up on us and I stood up like uh, Peter from the Bible around Jesus. You know what I'm right. <laughs> so I cut a ear off. Um, right. And, uh, and, Doc, and Dr. Freeman said, no, no. Salted, it's gonna be salted, salted. So, uh, you know, all about that action. And, right. uh, I sat down, and then the dude said, He had his phone in his hand. He said, Are you Dr. Freeman? And he said, Yes. And he said, Honey, it is him. It's Dr. Freeman. Wow. I, said, oh, man, I gotta take a picture with you. you know yeah. And um, that's, that's just how much that man, uh, over the years, he, he taught Barbara Jordan, Mickey Leland. Um, he wow. a lot of them came to that debate team, man. He taught uh, Martin Luther King, man, for a semester. Um, wow! So he was a, he was a guest of a <clears throat> professor and lecturer at Morehouse, man, during the time. So you know, um, he's he's an iconic man that I, and taught me how to take my my hood mentality and use it to use my voice properly with the speech and debate team, man. So um, and, and, right. and, and acting that's really where I got my my, my spirit and passion for that because we we'll do a lot of dramatic interpretations. It's right. not just arguing like how they show the great debaters. We 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 act and we yep. we get judged on what's called like uh, argumentative uh, 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 interpretations. Basically, it's like I can do a drama about you know suicide and then put it in the mirror. I do a whole ten minute play on that one man play. And so um, yeah, man, they, 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 that that team was the one that did that, man. Um, and uh, you know, pretty much um, Denzel Washington, the actors were out there. They came there. They trained the debate team, and I'm a part of that team, man. You know, I get to carry carry that torch for it. Wow. <clears throat> Crazy. Wow. Okay. So we, you, we talked, you, you talked about earlier that you could do, so you like to do impersonations. You yeah. know what I mean? You, <laughs> okay. So we heard you got a good Obama impersonation. Oh, yeah, man. That's, that's <laughs> the one that's what we're going to rock with. Yeah, man. <laughs> well, um, you know, I haven't done Obama for a while. Um, he, he actually retired. Uh, so, uh, uh, I'm not sure what he sounds like today. Uh, I imagine he probably uh, sounds like he used to when he would talk. But, uh, my guess is, uh, since he has uh, some older daughters, he probably don't really like uh, swag. Uh, I'm in my back. And, uh, hey. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's things, crazy. Like that. Hey, yo, it, 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 if I was to close my eyes, <laughs> like that would definitely be Obama, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. my gosh. Oh, okay, man. so okay, so we so so that, so we ran out of time. Okay, so do you uh uh uh, uh do you want to plug anything? You want to plug anything? Tell anybody where to find you at? You know what I mean? Tell what you got coming up and, and all of that. Yeah, man. I mean. I apologize for getting so close to the to the camera, man. I'm, I'm trying to my audio is on something funky. Oh, okay, he's all good. Yeah, yeah, man. You know, I'm pretty much. I got. I got. Uh, just keep up with me. I got a lot of things coming down the pipeline. You know, a lot right. of people to be able to support. You know, what I'm saying like I said, I'm one of y'all. You know, I'm 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 definitely uh, for the movement to make sure you know foundational Black Americans. You know. We get our reparations and things that are due, you know, at least. Oh, man. You oh, speak, man. Oh, you speak, hold on, hold on. At least, 
You speak it. 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 You know, at least, at least for all of us as black people here in America to become a protected class. You know what I'm saying? Right. At the yep. very least, man, we need to make sure that things that happen to George Floyd aren't things that can just continue to be a looming threat for us. You right. know what I'm saying? In this American society. You know, that's something that I firmly stand on and believe on. And, and, and you know, I, I ride for that. You know, um, that's just right. as a man, that's where I stand on. Some men, they, they choose wheat bread over white bread. That's what I choose. You know what I'm saying? That's just right. what I stand Absolutely. for. Yep. Um, and so, uh, yeah, I mean, so so just following me with that, man, you know, I can use all the support and love I can give being an actor in Hollywood with such beliefs. Um, and then, you know, I got a, I got a lot coming on, man. I got um, uh, the first Black uh, Horror Fest, uh, Horror Film Festival. Um, that's happening. I'm hosting that. It's going to be in Hollywood. In October, so if you're a filmmaker, uh, um, a producer, agent, we invite you uh, to come out, be an attendant, um, submit to it. Um, you know, we want to make sure that this growing black horror uh, genre uh, gets a, gets a lot of love. You know, what I'm saying so, I got that going. I got I got I got some things in the works. You know, as far as my my own stories, I'll be telling. Um, so yeah, just follow me, man. Keep up with me. I, I need the love. I need the love, Twin City. <laughs> man. Yo, amazing. Wow. Amazing. Hey, we, we rooting for you. We behind you 100%. You know what I mean? Now that we, we, we talk with you, man, we're going to be sharing all your stuff, man. Sharing everything. And, and we... <clears throat> what's that? You got something? No, I, I was going to say, uh, 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 send me a link. Uh, I, I'll send you a message. You can send me a link to that Horror Fest, too, man, because that sounds dope. That sounds incredible, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah, because 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 we, we usually go out to uh South by Southwest. Are you in Texas, South by Southwest cover the you ever heard of South by Southwest? Of course. Bro. Oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. exactly, ex- exactly. So we go out there almost every year and we and we cover like the almost the whole we cover the whole event. You know what I mean? So we go to different festivals, get press passes, and go out there and cover a whole bunch of uh, different events. So we would love to come out there, man. We would oh, love yeah, man, for sure. I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Hey man, look, ask him. I watch horror movies every night. You know, <laughs> hey, does he watch horror movies every night? Yo, yeah, yo. Yeah, yeah. Hey, First look, of all, man. why would you know that? Hey, <laughs> hey, look, that, that, hey look, that was when we was younger, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I still do. I still every do. time every, every time we go to Blockbuster, he getting a horror movie. I'm like, man, look, <laughs> look, look he get a he get a horror movie. I get like a black movie. Like, like, yeah. <laughs> Hey, remember Tales from the Hood? Yeah, hey, yeah, that absolutely. That was the man, one, that, man. That, that, that one episode with the with the lady, the painted lady. You already know. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You know, that's your yeah, man. Remember yeah. the leprechaun? Yeah. yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Hey, hood we classics. Love that. Yeah, yeah. Hood classics, yeah. man. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thanks again for coming on, and we appreciate same. you. All right, same, same, y'all. Keep doing what you're doing, man. Yeah. I support Thank y'all thoroughly. Thank you very much.